Damn, we are live. I love how simple it is to get live with Insta. No prep, nothing. You're live. And um, in episode three, uh, with somebody who's equally spontaneous, so you could you could trust uh, someone who's, who's drop of a hat, spontaneous, and that's Natalie. Uh, she is quite a name. Uh, and uh, uh, we, we, we'll get to share how we met uh, and um, so it's I thought I, I thought let's not get into a mold or a, or a pattern with the podcast which certainly doesn't go in line with conventional branding guidelines you know so let's start with familiar territory um, IT service management, then design thinking, and then bam, let's talk about fitness, because it's so important to not, to kind of, from time to time, shake off your uh, weekly grind. Uh, All right, she's, she's joining. This will be different. So, Natalie. It's so good to see you. Good to see you too. How have you been? Yeah, doing great. Doing good. Yeah. Hey? Yeah, all good. Just done with class, so I'm on. Yeah, high. yeah, you're high right now. Yeah, you, your, your, uh, your energy kind of goes up when you just done a uh, Zumba class. Absolutely. Right. I just actually have a Zumba class just now. It was a, a Sophie class. It was a hit class. So, yeah, it's gone even higher. Um, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, I train sometimes as well, myself, but it is low intensity, high interval training. <laughs> you should try a class with me sometime. Oh, I should dare. I should dare a class with you. Yeah. yeah. So, I'll tell you what, a lot of people are actually, they're apprehensive and they're scared because they feel that they'll be judged. And, you know, especially guys, mind you, especially guys, they feel like, you know, we can't, if we can't cope with the rest of the class, you know, everyone's going to look at us. And it, they're just scared to feel bad, like to look bad in front of other people. But this is how it works. See, um, it's actually works to my advantage because a lot of people have started taking virtual classes with me and what they do is they switch their video off initially because they don't know whether they're going to last for the entire duration of the class or not. So they take, um, so they have their videos off and then they work out and then they feel, hey, this is not so bad, I can do it. And after a couple of classes, the videos come on. Ah. So try it. This is this yeah, 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 yeah. Is this your hit class or your uh, Zumba classes uh, that guys oh, shy away uh, from? Well, actually, to be honest with you, for a hit class, I actually need their videos on because it's um, it's hardcore stuff that we're doing. So I need to be able to monitor. I need to be able to see what they're doing so that they don't injure themselves. Um, yeah. So it's mostly for Zumba classes that I let them put the video off if they want to, and then it comes on. Towards the end, the cool down, everyone's videos come come on. So yeah, yeah, yeah. But how it works? Yeah. So I did a Facebook live the other day for uh, IDBI for the marathon group. There were like there are twenty two thousand people on that group, and they asked me to do a Facebook live. So I did a hit class for them, and obviously I couldn't see what they were doing, but I had three people yeah. sign up for regular hit classes after that. Brilliant, brilliant! Yeah, I, I, I hope uh, some people get to, to know, um, you know, at least understand the importance of mobility. Because uh, in fact, where I work, I can't hear you. Hi, Prem. Yeah. Yeah. It's breaking up. I can't hear you. Yeah. 
Yeah, so for us, uh, it, it hasn't changed much. So like, so in our industry, we work from home quite frequently. And uh, so, um, uh, in a way, I didn't have to adjust much. And uh, it was just, uh, just an excuse to not change your lifestyle, which is not great. Yeah. I can't hear you, sorry. Yeah, is the audio breaking? Uh, maybe. Maybe I need to... Maybe you want me to walk around, not talk in in on one seat. Yeah. Maybe where you were sitting uh, when we started this conversation. Yeah, just sit in one place. <laughs> you got yeah. that. Yeah. 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 I think you you want me to walk around to have a conversation I can't in one place. Hear you if you walk. Um, Normally, I not at all. Walk Give me one second. Stepping out. Hey Ken, I can see my okay. favorite makeup artist online. Awesome. Yeah. Hey so the idea is to get you get you talk do more of the talking and me do more of the facilita facilitation. Okay. Well I'm not sure. Yeah. Well hey. I am pretty chatty, but um more face to face. You, 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 you are, you are, and and just to have this conversation, I need to have a big mug of coffee, cafe. So am I yeah. supposed to just take to have this conversation? Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, that's a that's a compliment, especially at the end of your class, because at the end of my work day, I'm still sitting on the couch, and now I'm working. All right, so where shall we begin? Um, so I am told this, that you turned the Hindi saying on its head, uh, which goes like, padoge likhoge to banoge nawab, or khelooge kudoge to banoge kharab. You turned the saying on its head. Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, <laughs> if, if there's one thing that will get us through this insanity, it's it's being as active as we possibly can and it's um yeah it's just to like really get you charged and really you need to keep moving you need to you need that exercise you need that adrenaline rush because we need to spend that energy somewhere and we don't realize it but when we're out there we're moving we're doing stuff we're waiting for cabs we're sitting in cabs we're going from a to b at home it's literally like to the kitchen to the bathroom to the <laughs> you know yeah, 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 yeah. You Fantastic. summed it up well. Yeah. And uh, yeah, we need to sort of prepare ourselves for going back out there. I mean, you know, I, I keep seeing these jokes and these memes that say there's no bikini season this year. So, you know, the next bikini season is 2021. But hey, you're not doing it to get into a bikini. You're doing it because you need to feel good. And you need to always be the best version of you. And what better time? What better time? Seriously, but grab, grab the opportunity. I I look at it as an opportunity, as a chance to do something. Things happen for a reason, so use this time to sort of be the best version of you. Totally, totally. I mean, it's it's kind of forcing you to take another look at life, isn't it? It's kind of forcing you to reboot. Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, that is the word, reboot. It's like, and I do believe we will be given another chance. I mean, I know that. I can see it coming, but just not right now. Maybe we're not ready for it. Like emotionally, um, physically, we have to come out of this. And when we come out, we have to be so much stronger. That's true. That's true. No, I, I, um, I was actually referring when I said that in the Muhabra. I was actually referring to that. That came in from your school friend, by the way. You know, uh, who lives in Australia. Lovely. Uh, yeah, yeah. So I said, okay. So I was always looking for a quotation. How about I pull out this? Uh, so we were chatting. Hey, I'm catching up with your friend. Uh, an hour that doesn't work for you. So she said, you know, she she, she can make the connection when when you say this to your school life. <laughs> Yeah, we didn't have gadgets, so we had a pretty active school life. Yeah, yeah, that's so cool. And and uh, so uh, you 
looking back at your childhood growing up you you love to move and dance and be out there and and sports and and that kind of thing yeah you got and that just follow your heart i did well actually not initially but you know how it is growing up yours and you tell your father that you want to be a dancer or you want to dance and he's like he mm. wishes that you're not the thing good girls do <laughs> or oh, that's not the thing like yeah. we do right now so so i actually believe it or not i graduated uh, in arts with an honors degree in english i've even done a diploma mm. in theology i don't fall off the chair um theology that came later that came more as a passion mm. not as uh, something that i was forced to do that came much later in my life just a couple of years ago yeah. So, yeah. Um, there is a very very deep spiritual side to me not really just spiritual No, of course. I mean, to just just the fact that you can stick on to something. I mean, everybody gets excited about something or the other in their life, but to stick on with that excitement for uh, for a period, you know, that definitely reflects on your spiritual base or something, some kind of belief. You know, no, definitely. I mean, I think you'd have to be in this industry, in this line, to actually understand how much of uh, passion you need. passion it's not a i don't believe it's a it's a job it's more of a vocation because mm. you need to be passionate yeah. about what you do and mm. uh, it's more energy so when you have a class and when you have students it's that energy that you're transmitting and if you don't feel it they're not going to yeah. feel it and you you have to be genuine about it yes so yeah i yeah. think it's, it's more about transmitting the right energy I can definitely vouch for it because I've been a backbencher student of yours in one or two classes, remember? <laughs> oh yes, aqua zumba. That's right. Tried, you tried aqua with me. Yeah, yeah, the fancy one. Yeah. Yes, Ravi. In passion is the most important. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, I have been a backbencher. You know, the ones who would you wouldn't notice coming in and out of the class, that kind of student. But only a teacher would notice. So I didn't notice because you make it a point, and I think one of my—it's not a cheat, it's not a hack, but it's something I tell my students as well. Make sure you're actually connected to each student, face each student, which is why I always face my classes because I need that connect. And you, as a student, need to know that I that you are important to me, and I think. It's more about that. It's more about making your students feel important because they are. Hey, you're paying the bills. <laughs> no, on a serious note, um, it works both ways. It really works both ways because um, where I get my energy from is actually my students. Yeah. So yeah. yeah. To- totally. And 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 uh, hey, Zumba happened. And, uh, and I was actually, uh, you know, just to be a little bit knowledgeable to talk to you, I was going through the history of Beto Perez. I remember the first time we met, and I said, "Who Beto Perez?" So, uh, and similar kind of background, similar kind of background, boy out of Colombia who just loves to dance, and you know, he happened to improvise in one of his classes, and and by now it came, yeah. Home. And he improvised because uh, it's like you know they say necessity is the mother of invention. So he actually forgot his music. So he went yeah. back to his car and he pulled out whatever he had. And in in Colombia they listen to salsa and reggaeton. They don't listen to the Spanish music we do. So and it worked also because people could relate to it. Yeah. You know? So it worked. So I mean, coming back to the situation we're in right now, who knows what. Uh, what may come out of it? I mean, we never thought we'd be able to do virtual classes, but hey, we have no choice, and it works. It actually works. I mean, people are rocking it. So people are rocking it. Yeah, you, 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 and Ryan are definitely rocking uh, online classes. That's because you always had that connect offline, and and you're just transferring that online. It's it's just a continuation. I'm sure many people have that question. That oh gosh, I'm stranded now. How do you get that going? But you're one of the people who flicked a switch, you know, on the same day and, and went online. <laughs> yeah, you know that, right? I mean, I was in one way because 
the thing is um you have one of two options you can cry or do something about it the situation's not yep. going to get better and uh, i'm kind of ocd in a way like i need a routine i need something to follow and after one or two days i was just like this is not working i can't not know what i'm doing next so hey yes. this is normal let's just go with it when it changes i deal with it then so you just kind of go with the flow that's fabulous so when you started out i don't believe you had much of a plan um, and uh, you know you yes, certainly so how, how, can you could you take us back to and i i know uh, many people don't know the interesting uh, background for starting in the aviation industry uh, Sorry, and uh, how how you yeah your uh, your background of starting in the airlines industry and how you, you <laughs> Yeah, yes. how you shifted gears and yeah, could, could you tell us a bit of, of that? Well, um, I don't know, but I mean, Zumba didn't even exist then, and um, I've always been passionate about dancing. But as I said, I couldn't have a career in dancing, and at that time, um, it was something that you just did for passion, and you just danced in inter school and inter college fest, and that was it. So mm. I went to the normal college way, graduated. And then I got a job with the airline, so I lived in Bahrain for a couple of years, and I flew with Gulf Air, and that's when I became addicted to travel. I still am. Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, came back here, was in the hospitality industry. I worked with Park. I worked with Inox. Set it up. Uh, worked in the corporate world for a couple of years. Even did back end research. And um, when I had my babies, and I couldn't really like go out there and be, you know. And then um, fitness actually started with Zumba a couple of years ago. When a friend said, "Hey, you know, you a friend I've grown up with," and she said, "Then I." So she actually said, "You know something? There's this dance fitness format, and it's called Zumba, and it's so cool, and it's something that you'd be so good at. So you should try it." And that was it. I was just like lost after that. I mean, Zumba had my heart, and so I was still working because it was. And I was. I started taking classes. I used to just take like. A class twice a week, and looking yeah. at the my students' faces, looking at the joy that it brought them because it was their release, it was their me time, it was their I'm mm. the me time. You know what I mean? Like looking yeah. at that, I said no. This is what I have to do because you know it, it brings people so much joy. So. So, so that's how it started, and then from then on, I realized it's not enough. I need to know more because people, if you're a teacher of any sort, especially in our country, which is a great thing, people really respect you, and they start looking up to you. You know, your teacher is your guru. So I had a lot of, I used to get a lot of questions about, um, oh, what do you do when this muscle hurts, or what do you do when that hurts, or you know, this is hurting. Can you give me an exercise for this, or I have a week, whatever. You know, sort of. And then I said, no, I need to give them I, one of two things. I can either say I'm sorry, I don't know because I actually don't, or I can look it up. I can Google it and give them a, uh, an answer, which I didn't think was fair because they were placing all their trust in me. So for their sake mm. and for mine, I needed to know more, and that's how I started studying in that line. And one thing just led to the other. And now uh, I'm a personal trainer. I've been certified by the National Academy of Sports Medicine. I'm yeah. an instructor with AFA, which is the Athletics and Fitness Association of America, and I'm also representing the country. So yeah, one thing just led to the other, and uh, I I still keep studying. And in fact, uh, this company NASM is so great that you know when I tell them, hey, I finished this course, they're like, okay, so what do you want to do now? And they put me on the next, which is so brilliant because. I keep studying. I keep getting better and more confident. My students benefit, and I benefit. So yeah, it's a win-win situation. You keep getting fitter because I, I saw you mention somewhere that it's important. Even if you're doing one form of exercise, you you kind of do the other form, cross train yourself. Uh, it's very important that uh, you, you change your routine from time to time. Absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. And you know, there was one point in time when I was. Uh, I go a lot through the uh, do as I say, don't do as I do thing because uh, sometimes I'm like, oh, I have convention and I have to be at my fittest and I have to be at my slimmest and then I start working out like crazy. 
and then you mm. enjoy yourself. So that's not good. And in fact, uh, that's what I love about Zumba because it it helps your flexibility as well. It helps your range of motion when you're warm, you know, properly warmed up. You can do so much more than you would normally. So yeah, my uh, exercise routine is pretty much a mix of something called Nirvana, which is yoga inspired. Zumba for that dance fitness, the cardio boost, hip workouts, strength training, everything. So it's a it's a bit of a mix of everything, and it also sort of your body doesn't get used to one particular, you know, because after uh, a time, what happens is you plateau. So when you mix it up, your body is constantly being challenged. It's constantly learning yeah. and adapting to new things, which is great. Yeah. Wow, I mean, uh, so for somebody who's never done nothing, what, what would you tell them? Where where to start? Strangely, uh, but you'd start where we started in school. You'd start with, uh, honestly, with proper form. You'd start with things like balance, which is something we don't do now. What we want is we want instant results. We walk into that gym and we want weights. We want to see definition. We want muscle. Yeah. But no, you start with balance yeah. because if your ABC is strong, you always know how to spend. So, you know, I mean, which is why the, the form of uh, training that I gave is based on such a scientific model where there's minimal risk to injury. Because you work on your core and you work on your stability and balance for like a whole month till you know that, okay, my base is strong, now bring it on. Yeah. So, yeah, I would always start very slow. Hey Xavier, All right. big smiley to you. <laughs> yeah. So how are you quarantining? How's it been for you? Not too bad. <laughs> Not too bad really because um, this yeah. is, yeah, I, I mean I'm pretty much used to this. So when I see people um, mm. who are used to going out there and working and like cooking, you know, cooking is a novelty for them. They're churning out like master chef worthy dishes and stuff like that. I'm just like, yeah. okay, this is my everyday. So I'm not really yeah. motivated to do that. Yeah, once in a while, they put the kids or whatever. But it's it's pretty much what I do anyway. The only difference yeah. is, um, yeah, I, I must admit, the uncertainty is a bit unnerving. It would be nice mm. to know that, okay, on X day, even if X day means the 25th of December, Yeah, so, it's like how flights announce that their flights are delayed. They never do it in one yeah. shot. They say, yeah. yeah, they say, okay, yeah. 30 minutes. Then the SMS comes, okay, one hour, <laughs> 45 minutes, yeah. You just need that reassurance. You need to know, like for me, I just need to know, okay, on X day, I will be on a plane and I will be traveling somewhere. And I'm yeah. fine. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I'm thrilled because I'm in touch with my students, I'm in touch with most people virtually, but yes, I miss real life hugs. I'm a very, very affectionate oh, totally. person, so I miss the real life hugs. And I miss good coffee. My <laughs> 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 machine broke, and apparently, coffee is not an essential, so we're not getting delivery. Ah, uh, no way. Uh, so, not even instant coffee? Instant coffee, yes, but I mean, for a serious yeah. coffee drinker, instant yeah. coffee, seriously. I shouldn't even mention, yeah, yeah, and that's that's what I'm having right now, instant coffee. <laughs> so you didn't try some of the Dalgona coffee trend or anything? I, I did, just for fun. Um, no offense to all, mm. all those who did, but I think a lot of people have just mm. started drinking coffee. It's like, so for them it's fine, you know, for like... The, the first time you start drinking coffee, it's usually cold coffee or coffee with like a lot of caramel yeah. and hazelnut and whatever, and then you gradually progress. So, yeah, yeah, so those yeah. have made me go back in time. Yeah, <laughs> nah, I know. It's like having, having to put your balance balancing wheels on after you've ridden uh, ridden a bicycle <laughs> all your life. Yeah, absolutely regression. I mean. I'm sorry, but I sort of link everything to fitness and exercise, progression, regression. Oh yeah, totally, totally. Uh, and yeah. um, but this is a good time to make 
travel plans actually, you know, because your mind can wander. Right? You can go anywhere. Uh, so that's that's why I started this podcast and uh, uh, just just on the spur because I've been wishing to do something like this for a while. Remember, I I I, I think you sometimes I like, uh, just in my mind let's do something together. I can't hear you. Sorry. Away, you know? I've lost you. Uh, no, I said the reason why I discussed that is, you know, just get this time to. No, no luck. No luck. Can't hear me? No, I can't hear you. I've lost you. Ah, uh, okay. Let me walk to another position. Yeah. Is this better? I love someone's reaction to Dalgona. Mm. Sugary heaven, but Dalgona tastes very bad. <laughs> Yes, yeah. <laughs> it doesn't taste very bad. I mean, it doesn't it do. It's, uh, you don't have. To. But yeah, it's not coffee. It's not coffee. It's more alive. Uh, I think that's a problem with your signal. Still? Problem? Yeah. Okay, sugary heaven. Can you, there's some connection problem, yeah. Okay, uh, I'm going to keep talking. This happens all the time in live. Uh, figured out a way how to capture once the live video goes. Uh, it's available. Just going to move on to the same place. Let me know when I'm available. I can hear you. Guys. No? Uh, not really. Yeah. Okay, okay. Hmm. It can be done. At least, at least I'm walking. At least I'm uh, mobile during this time. Yeah. At least I'm walking. I'm not sitting on the couch. No luck. Yeah. Now you're better. Can't hear me. Yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. Yeah, so, yeah, I, I, I figured out a way uh, how to capture an Instagram video after the 24 hours period because it goes away. Oh, this is, this is yeah. actually my first Instagram live. Yeah. I think and it's so cool because cool. I, can I, mean, see, I can see so many people join. Yeah. It's so cool. Hey. <laughs> yeah, it is. It is. It's. It doesn't give you any prep time. It's like bang your life. Yeah, yeah. One shot uh, your life. Yeah, like I didn't know what I should do. So, and I sort of got the cue from you when you went yeah. like, "Oh, there she is," and I was like, "Oh, I have to request to join the video." Yeah, yeah, yeah. This yeah. is all. This is all new. This is all very, you know, very slick. If the Wi-Fi is right, the main. Uh, the main differentiator is the Wi-Fi. All right. Um, what shall we talk about? So, um, yeah, we were talking about travel plans. You can be at one place and just make travel plans. Well, I'm make always, travel plans uh, for the next year. Yeah. I've always been very... Um, that, that's that's a word that sort of gets me motivated. Travel because I'm just a die-hard travel fan. I mean, I worked with, I flew with an airline out for three years, and I had a lot of people uh, say, "Oh, you must have saved a lot of money." And I'd be like, "No," and they'd be like, "But why?" Because everything was free. You know, your hotel, your um, your airfare, or whatever. And I was like, "I traveled. <laughs> I wasn't going to go to a place and stay in the hotel." You know, I was like really out there. I mean, I ate local food. I'm not going to do that at Southeast Asia anymore, just for the record. But yeah, yeah. I always yeah. ate local food. I always did <laughs> touristy things. So yeah, yeah. I mean, it's the best and, and, because it's the best form of education ever. It is the best. You learn so much when you're on the go. I mean, geography for us in school was just remember just just learn stuff but it didn't make sense because we yeah. couldn't relate yeah. and now with my yeah. kids I'm literally begging of them I'm like please let me teach you geography because I know so much <laughs> you know 
it, it's like having hands on practical information and being able to relate stuff totally totally and culture because uh, um, this language is so much about culture right yeah the, the way we can converse and you you would have false starts it's important to know uh, that conversations can go wrong you would have false starts but then when you've spoken enough when you've had enough conversation you just get a hang of things and it helps you professionally as well and and, and and talk about on these lines talk about the friendships that um, zumba and fitness has has given you over the years oh okay that is amazing that that is like the probably like the best best part because um at times like this i will be honest now there are you know there are times when i can't sleep and you you know you think okay i'm in control of the situation and i'm fine and i've got this and this is not going to bring me down but you know when you can't sleep at night you're wondering why or you're stressed you know you're stressed but these are repressed feelings but they sort of manifest themselves in lack of sleep etc and this is when you know you have a friend somewhere in the world who's away and yeah. uh, and i think zumba is so great because they've actually they they have we have this convention every year which is my retreat which is my getaway and i go every year because it it sort of gives me that energy i i get some of it back it's like recharging my batteries and this year obviously because yeah. of the situation it can't happen so they actually doing us zumba like i mean a, a zincon virtual convention online for us like as as i speak which is so yeah. amazing because yeah, yeah i mean and people are doing like virtual theme parties and virtual and it's all the zumba community and this is like a lady i know from australia and somebody else from uh, ireland and a friend of mine uh, actually had the virus in germany and you know so oh. she had us yeah, exactly so i mean there's so much you learn there's so much you um, you gain you enriched we're so enriched because of these raw friendships the first hand yeah experience. and travel friendship travel and friendship go hand in hand absolutely absolutely and i'm the kind of person who can make friends like at the drop of a hat yeah, oh yeah <laughs> I've actually gone to Disneyland. Can I watch for that? <laughs> I've actually been to Disneyland alone, Disney World alone. Ah. Yeah. And I had everyone say, "Who were you with? Who took pictures?" And I was like, "Friends. I met friends along the way." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 So, I was. Um, and and my mom is like that you know she's extremely enterprising you know she never had a problem traveling with heavy suitcases and i say how you got a bad knee now there's always a friend by the by the conveyor belt and they they would help a lady i don't people are so nice people are so yeah. nice it's just that it depends on the kind of vibe that you give off because as i said you know it all comes yeah. back to that energy because you know the first time i went to new york i bought a lot of stuff like people they don't have time and they just on the go and you know but i was struggling with bags in new york and i've had people on their way to work who have stopped and said hang on we got this so yeah. you know again till you're actually out there you don't know and and there's so many misconceptions we have but it, it's about what you put out there and that's what you get back oh yeah 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 totally totally and um thank you i uh, remember i keep oh uh, that not i keep to make my day uh am i still audible yes you are now you are okay yeah so um remember i keep referring to another friend of mine with a zumba connection um, so she began zumba in the south island um uh, of new zealand uh, about i don't know 10 years ago or something or even more than that and uh, we made friendships just like that you know typical backpacker kind of a, a connection in goa and uh, she would come down to my engineering college in karnataka strange story nobody would believe but you know i 
it's it's again it's, it's that and she mentioned something like um women who travel solo or for that matter even guys who travel solo have developed this kind of sixth sense on 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 taking judgments and who to trust and those kind of things so yeah it's uh, it's all these uh, real world life skills that you actually pick up when you're traveling and subconsciously without even like you know consciously thinking about it it's just yeah those days when he used to come to us oh so cute okay <laughs> okay so this little girl so, is uh, yeah tell me no no go ahead please no just a special shout out to this little girl so cute so i think um, the school you know when my, when our common friend lovely was talking to you about how i used to dance yeah. in school and stuff like that so i remember yeah. our sports day drills used to always be done even though us we were content educated our school was always they always thought out of the box and they let us sort of do what we wanted to do within limitations of course yeah. So our drills would always really stand out, and very recently the school called me back to say, "Hey, will you do our drill now?" But it's done professionally, and I did, and I, and I had yeah, all these little girls who were so amazing. That's the best feeling, isn't it? If you can do something for your alma mater. And I'm so happy that now there are schools, there are you know, who are so open to dance, fitness, and concepts that mm. normally they wouldn't have been. You know, now it's just like yeah, as long as our kids are active, we're fine. Just get them. To yeah, because you have the, you have the internet, which is a big influence. That, uh, you can you can cross connect cultures, and yeah, that that's help. That helps. It does. Um, I've had I have people in my classes from South Africa, the U.S., Canada, Singapore, Ireland. Whoa, whoa, whoa! So, so how can I put? How would somebody get in one of your classes? How would somebody register? Online. I mean, they just get in touch with me. They tell me what they're comfortable with. I do a morning class. I do an evening class. Um, I do regular Zumba classes, hit classes, circuit nirvana. So, do oh, I find them to your your profile? One of your social profiles? Works. Yeah, sure. Works. All right. That's a pretty slick way of doing it. Great. And um, you and I. You and I uh, share a common passion for. We're both green thumbs. It's so good. For a green thumb, bit. Yeah, I I didn't really think so, but um. So when I travel, I leave for like three weeks at a time when I do the the convention yeah. trip, and when I came back, when I returned, most of my plants were dead, but I didn't give up on them. Uh -huh. And I just kept yeah. watering them, and most of them came back. So maybe you're right, but I'm not sure about that at all. So maybe you're right. <laughs> yeah, maybe, so yeah. yeah, you you transmitted them some of your energy. Possibly. That's what happens. Possibly. And and uh, we've we've been seeing more and more birds. The birds just keep getting louder around here, don't they? It's amazing. It's amazing. I mean, there are sounds which we've never noticed before, which just seems so. I mean, you know, the adhan, for example, I've heard it like a hundred times and not noticed it, but now it just—it's just such a calm. It's just, you know, it brings such a calm. It's just beautiful because probably because there are no other disturbances around, you know. Um, yeah. I have two nests in the tree in front of me, and I've never noticed them before. My mom used to keep telling me, "Oh, you know, this crow did this, and the father crow came and took." And I was like, "You know, what is she talking <laughs> about?" But now I've noticed yeah. crows. <laughs> so yeah, um, yeah. If somebody put somebody puts his head into it, they can pick up crow language. <laughs> <laughs> Possibly. Uh, Yeah, we've got fans joining all over. Yeah, so I oh my gosh, I'm getting okay. It just shows how technologically uh, challenged I am 
I am chatting with you on my phone and I'm trying to type a response on my laptop and I'm wondering why it's not happening. Are you good at multitasking? Because I'm horrible at that. I'm not too bad. I'm not too bad, but I have to sort it out in my mind first. Yeah. I have to decide what I want to do. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, when I started this podcast, you know, you, you were among the top three in my mind because uh, I, I cannot really get talking to a very professional guest because I'm not a trained interviewer of sorts, right? It, it's somebody who has to get from the word go. You know, so I, I thought, you know, we could do that. You know, we could just start running and, and figure out, you know, the technology. Every, every day I'm figuring out something about the technology. And as well as about the guest. Okay, I have a question. From Shabi 3, do you know her? Name I happen to, familiar, yeah. Right? Name sounds familiar. Yeah, very familiar. Yeah, very You're probably familiar. probably drinking some of her coffee. Choke on it. Okay. Okay, fitness tips for mad working women in IT. Okay, if you're working from home, this is so brilliant because it's what I do. I have my mat. Okay, I actually have my mat to play. Let me try and show this to you. Yeah, on the floor, right next to me whenever I'm walking. I need to take a break. I get up. I keep drinking a lot of water while I'm at my desk. So the idea is basically prepare before you sit down to work. So that if everything's around you, tendencies are you will keep drinking water. You'll nibble on like something healthy. And when you need to take a break either to the washroom or wherever you go when you come back you go straight to your mat you do a couple of exercises and you come back and then you work and then when you need to take your next break so keep drinking water so you'll so <laughs> you'll definitely need those breaks before you come back to sit here you go you do a little bit of an exercise uh, hold a plank do some light weights come back work go back it really really helps it helps me. I mean, it's what works for me because I'm pretty much the kind of person who, once I'm here, I won't move. So the idea is get everything in place before you sit down. And that really helps. And then even if your husband calls for coffee, say, excuse me, get it yourself. <laughs> that expression is right. useless. But, okay, more generic question, yeah. 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 So, I mean, I, yeah, I don't good... have to give advice, I just tell people what works for me and it generally is what would work for most people. I think it's, it's just about getting organized. Right. Design your own cockpit. Yeah. Have everything that you need around you for the day. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. But make sure that you need to keep getting up and taking breaks because that really helps. <laughs> laughing so cute you're yeah. welcome Shabitri. you can call me anytime you need something so yeah one basically. of the one of the comments uh sorry uh something came to my mind um one of the comments that uh, i i get to hear and you must get to hear more than i hear very often is oh i'm gaining weight uh, during the lockdown yeah, how, how, how can I reduce weight? I'm, I'm gaining some weight. What do you think is happening here? Um, boredom. 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 So, because it, it happens to me. When you're bored, what do you do? You you are looking oh, for boredom. something to yeah. fill, fill that void, right? So what do you do? You eat. So, yeah, yeah just yeah. don't have unhealthy snacks around. And as I said, prep. I know I've been promising to share what my what my little tiffin box looks like, and I will. So you just have your veggies cut and kept, um, you know, healthy veggies, maybe a couple of dips, yogurt based, your coffee if you need it, things like that. But um, the idea is also not to get hungry. Because when you get hungry, that's when you tend to win. It's like, you know, you're really thirsty and then... It's not water, you start, you want coke. So when you're really hungry, then you go past the, I can eat an apple and be happy. You want the biryani. Yeah. So the, yeah. the idea is not to get there. 
and not to get bored. There's so much to do. There's really so much to do. I mean, I have like a million ideas. So you're free to connect whenever. <laughs> yeah, there are like a million. We can definitely have. A... I would like to do which. You know, uh, we can definitely have a part two and part three of the podcast. In that case. Yeah. So you basically admitted that you got me on so that I would do all the talking. Yeah, I and mean, that that's the strategy, right? You know, I'm I'm just a facilitator, moderator. Yeah. Just get her started. And with the steady stream of engagement that I see coming in, it's a very easy job. <laughs> And the, I and I just love people, and this is so amazing. I'm really excited. I think I should do this more often. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure you'll be getting more requests to do this uh, all over. Yeah. Yeah, I do, but I'm just like uh, I don't like being put on the spot. But I think yeah. the idea is, yeah, once I get started, then I'm fine. I gave you a fair idea of what was coming. It doesn't matter which acting, so I think that's uh, it's more like you know going with the flow. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That, that's what I thought. That you coffee, know, there yeah, are some. Yeah, yeah. Co- coffee is a recurring theme. It seems we should do a coffee podcast. Music. <laughs> you have to send me some first. Yeah. Too bad. Let's not bring that up. Yeah. I, I'm drinking instant right now, which is just like. Yeah. So yeah, my it's what broke. you would do. Yeah, my machine broke, and then I actually tried to break one of the capsules, like to get like decent coffee, but that was a disaster. So no. Ah, you have one of those Nespresso things, do you? Ah, it's George Clooney Nespresso. It is an indulgence, but it's fine. I, I keep saying I deserve it. <laughs> Where do you get your capsules from? Do you get them here? I get them online. So when my so, and I, I have a steady steep stream of people coming in and me traveling and stuff like that. Yeah. But um, there are two. There's Vero Coffee, which actually makes them the same size and they deliver. Nespresso is on Amazon as well. And uh, mm. but right now they're not delivering. But in any yeah. case, I'm yeah, not as here. Yeah. So there's Vero Coffee and there's another brand. I can't remember, but I will give you the name that 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 is uh, Nespresso compatible. Yeah. So yeah. there are options. There are lots. So of we were in a. I I wish we had this conversation before we we went on a trip and there was a Nespresso machine and I'd never used it before. So I tried everything and then the water. Came out and just spilled the floor, and we had to call the Airbnb guests that helped us out here for a cup of coffee. <laughs> I think with my travel history, I can learn. Uh, I can manipulate uh, most coffee machines and most showers. <laughs> ah, most co- showers and coffee machines. Yeah. <laughs> so, Beautiful yeah. handyman. Yeah. Absolutely. I mean, you know, a lot of people go like, uh, "Does the hotel room have a hairdresser?" Uh, a hair dryer, and I'm like, I don't get. Does it have a coffee machine? Ah, got your priorities set. Absolutely, what works for you? Coffee. So, um, oh, for me? No, no, I was just reading the. Uh, yeah. 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 The 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 theme. Yeah, it's pretty much in, in, in up. Yeah. So, um. So, uh, what, what would you say somebody who's not moved by music, like physical? You know? To somebody who's and not, I, I moved by music. Uh, so, um, what happens to me when I listen to music? I would probably stand there and bob my head or even head bang. But dance doesn't get into me at, at all. You know, it would be a disaster. It, it's like. Coffee, it grows on you, so over time it would. Over time. Yeah, it would grow on you. And uh, yeah, interesting fact: dance psychology. You know, all those people who stand and go like, move their hands yeah. when they're listening to a song. Dance psychology yeah. actually says 
that they looking for their rhythm ah ah yeah so what happens and especially when i've uh, what happens especially when i've had enough amount of caffeine uh, some dance psychology first hand when i've had enough amount of caffeine uh, something trips at some point and that's disastrous it should never happen so my my earlier friend said don't give any one cup just whatever you do cuz cuz it's, it's it's just ugly when i start moving no like, it, it, it never it. is it never is it, it's never ugly you don't believe that because uh, that's what will make you self conscious and remember dance is your expression so what might be ugly for one person will not be for somebody else it's i would first say you have to feel the music so close your eyes and actually feel it and let that move you like everybody has it everybody which is why zumba is so popular because you just get lost in the music you know you're in a trance you're in a different world which is one reason i don't like working out with mirrors because people get conscious and people start comparing themselves to somebody else oh yeah But yes. when you don't have a mirror, that's when the teacher is actually challenged because it's up to her or him to make you feel like the diva you are. Yes, yes, yes. So, uh, is it is it the same with girls? Because with guys, is uh, who's got bigger guns? Who picks up the with girls? Yes. yes, I would pretty much say it's it's like that with everybody. And um, my first ever Zumba class, I had to face, which a lot of people. find really really difficult but for me it's the easiest thing because i just feed off my students i feed off their energy and i dance with them which i think is so much better because you know it gives you that connect which you don't have otherwise in a mirror it's like okay you feel like you're constantly being judged or you're looking at yourself and yeah. you know but there's a more personal feel when you're facing somebody which is why i think virtual also works for me because most of my existing students who work out with me online they used to that they used to looking at me they used to me looking at them so yeah yeah so it works i am looking forward to the next uh, aqua zumba session whenever it happens uh, i'm sure many people are uh, Yeah. So, it's too bad you don't have a date. <laughs> I have a friend in Australia who's actually yeah. taking virtual aqua zumba classes because most people there have their own pools. So they're in their pools mm. and she's at home. And it works. Woo, you just have to set up your phone it doesn't get catch water. That's right. That's right. I prefer using a bigger device like I use my Mac mostly but people use their tabs so the screen is bigger. Yeah. Yeah. All right this this is so cool chatting with you and 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 we definitely uh, have a copy specific podcast maybe as a part two. Done. Done. Bring, yeah. Bring it on. Yeah. Bring it on. So uh what's up is your day done yet or you have a few more classes uh, lined up No no I'm done I'm done I'm done I try not to work out too late also because there's this um, you're just overcharged there's so much you know you're, you're on the high and yeah so I'm done I'm an early morning person now now as in the last couple of years and I think the best time to actually for what works for me again may not work for everyone but what works for me is um, a workout early in the morning because you just start your day with that amazing energy right yeah that's not I, I, i can take that for me yeah i can take that for me maybe maybe start waking up early and and start yeah i can take that for you yeah it's a beautiful feeling seriously trust me trust me there are a lot of people i have a batch uh, from singapore right now Uh, I mean in the mornings and there are two ladies who wake up from Calcutta because they have to you know be online at the same time as them and they were just not early morning people but right now they're like 
we just you know we just love the mornings and thank you because it's making such a difference to our day you know the energy we get so you're just out there you're just motivated to keep moving that's okay. so cool okay compliments and that's me you thank be- you would you begin with uh, another time zone uh, would you some of your students uh, be from the us at that time i would imagine uh, maybe my us students uh, drop in in the evenings they do my evening um, class which is their morning okay. but yeah my early morning class is for singapore mostly thank you ashok Gosh, I don't think I'll be able to conclude this chat because so many people are still joining. Do you have? Yeah. Okay, everybody. Do you have a question for Natalie? Uh, you can drop it in the comment section, and you really, you know, we can deep dive into technical stuff. I Just I think to, I can access this later, right? So I can come back and like respond to oh, yeah. questions. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Awesome. I'll do that. All right. So, I won't keep you from dinner being an early morning person and uh, so long. Thank you. It's been lovely chatting Thanks. with you. And virtually, but I'll uh, we'll get used to it. <laughs> we can do and it uh, till yeah. we get So, and a big big thank you to everyone who joined this chat. Some of you commented, some just waved. Some of you were just there. Thank you so so much it means so much to us that we that somebody actually joined and listened to what i had to say <laughs> thank you and thank you anurag thank you well thank you you know you 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 chose when i'm still picking up my my interview skills thanks for doing this with me <laughs> my pleasure my pleasure i had fun awesome take care take care bye bye good night sweet dreams Bye. Bye bye.